The single greatest team in the history of high school basketball was this close to happening. I'm talking about LaMelo and Zion running the fast break together. Add Sharif O'Neal to make it a big three, and I don't know any team that would have stood a chance. I'm Overtime Peter, and this team actually could have happened. But first, let's go back in time. The year was 2015, See You Again is the number one song, Netflix and Chill just became a thing, and LaMelo Ball just committed to UCLA. As just a freshman, he went on to win a championship at Chino Hills with his big brothers and looked destined to follow the same path as Lonzo, be a four-year high school star, go on to dominate in college, and then head to the NBA after one year. But instead, it went a little bit differently. He left Chino Hills before his junior year and headed to Lithuania, becoming the youngest American to ever sign a pro basketball contract. Then he played in LaVar's new basketball league, the JBA, in the US and then internationally. Next, he came back to the States to finish high school, only now he was playing at Spire Institute in Ohio, far away from Chino Hills. He went off his senior year and then went back overseas, this time to Australia's pro league, the NBL. It became clear to NBA scouts that LaMelo was so much more than height, views, and likes. He was a legit prospect with superstar potential. By the time his season was over, he was near the top of every NBA mock draft. While LaMelo was in Lithuania, Zion Williamson was back in South Carolina catching bodies. People around the world were hearing about this new star, a tank who jumped as high as LeBron. Every school wanted him, but he chose to team up at Duke with Trey Jones, Cam Reddish, and RJ Barrett, forming a college super team. He went viral night after night, cementing himself as the lock for the number one pick. New Orleans won the draft lottery, Knicks fans everywhere cried, and on June 20th, NOLA had their superstar. You know what happens next. After a bit of a wait, Zion came in and had one of the most dominant rookie performances in NBA history. Zion took the normal path. He was the ultimate one and done. He put on a show in high school, became a legend in college, and then began his NBA odyssey. Now let's take it back one more time. About an hour away from Chino Hills, Sharif O'Neal was making a name for himself at Crossroads. Some people just knew him as Shaq's son, but we knew him as a straight up beast. He became one of the top players in the country, but his journey was anything but normal. His junior year, he committed to play at Arizona, then decommitted and picked UCLA. But his freshman year, he was diagnosed with a heart condition, which caused him to miss the whole season. Eventually, he decided to transfer to LSU, where his pops was a legend. Reef spent on his grind and looks ready to put on a show down in Louisiana. Now find somewhere to sit, cause I'm about to blow your mind. Look what LaMelo told us a few summers ago. Or whenever he was a senior, he was trying to have me, him, and Reef on the same team. We were just talking about Chino Hills, Crossroads, something like that. You think that would have been like the craziest high school? Me, yeah, definitely. Uh, would you guys have lost the game? No. Nah. We've seen LaMelo versus Zion. It felt like the whole world watched that game. LaMelo was getting buckets and dropping dimes, and Zion was hurting the rim. Now just imagine them teaming up. First you got Zion, a one-man wrecking crew with unlimited bounce. Now you're pairing him with a generational passer, one of the most gifted and creative point guards in high school history, LaMelo Ball. We've seen how Zion and Lonzo play together in NOLA, so with Melo, it'd be more of the same story, Lob City. Then you got Reef, who'd be getting buckets from all over and blocking everything. And if they teamed up at Chino Hills, you'd have Big O, one of the top big men in the country and another likely lottery pick. We've seen high school super teams before. The Ball brothers were a super team at Chino Hills, Montverde had D'Angelo Russell and Ben Simmons, and this year they had like 28 five stars. Plus, every IMG squad is stacked. You get the point. But Zion, LaMelo, Reef, Big O? They would have put up a fight against college teams. And if this did happen, what else could have changed? All their paths could have been different. Would Zion still go to Duke? Or would he stay on the West Coast, committing to UCLA to team back up with Sharif? Or maybe Reef heads to Duke? One can only imagine what would have happened. Remember, they were both in the class of 2018, which leaves one final question. What would LaMelo have done? His actual path took him all over the world. 
But if he stayed in high school and formed a super team, he would have kept his eligibility. Maybe he would have still chosen to play professionally, heading to Lithuania, Australia, or somewhere else. But if he'd simply gone to college instead? We know he would have balled out, it's what he does. But his success overseas helped add fuel to the fire of a movement we're seeing everywhere. Hoopers are taking their talents abroad or to the G League because they have the confidence that it can help them reach the league, just like it helped Lamelo. Along with guys like RJ Hampton or even Brandon Jennings back in the day, he helped pave the way for a new generation of basketball players to take destiny into their own hands. And if he went to college, would that change still be taking place? If Lamelo, Zion, and Reef teamed up in high school, I think we know they would have been nearly unbeatable. And maybe after dominating high school, they would have ended up in the same spots they're in now. And that's the beauty of sports. Every decision has the potential to change the game forever. And get Aki like me. Go click the link in the bio right now. You better cop out. Cop like five shirts. Because you need them for all week. And check out these videos right here. And subscribe. <laughs> Stop playing with me.